Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. It's uh, Monday morning here, and I've just had the car inspected, and it's fit to drive for another year, which is, you know, lovely to find out. I hope you're having a good Monday morning wherever you are. So, today I thought I would talk a little bit about um, retro computing, retro, retro programming, because uh, People often say that Serenity is a retro operating system, or that um, it's a retro project, retro software, and I'm doing retro programming. And I don't really agree with that. I don't, I don't think of what I do as retro anything, really. Um, now, of course, it's undeniable that the Serenity interface is extremely retro-inspired. If you, if you look at it, I mean, anyone can can tell that I'm stealing heavily from late 90s Microsoft products, Apple products, um, and obviously the um, command line interface is Unix-like, you know? Um, but when I, when I think of retro programming or retro software, um, I think of like, um, putting arbitrary restrictions on yourself to um, produce something, um, I mean, something beautiful, to make art within um, restriction. So the best example of that, I think, is Roger Clark, uh, who's uh, working in Windows 2000 and uh, writing code on Visual C++ 6, because he's limiting himself to Windows 2000 APIs, to the uh, version of C++ that came with uh, Visual Studio there. And uh, those artificial constraints um, are what make it retro programming, I think. Uh, and when it comes to Serenity, I don't, I don't put any such constraints on myself. Like, I'm happily using modern tools, a modern version of C++. Um, I use a modern machine. Uh, but I guess the, um, the constraint I put on Serenity is that I just want to build everything myself or from scratch um, just to understand it and understand the process, understand what I'm doing uh, better. And, but, but that's like, it's a very different kind of constraint that doesn't make it, doesn't really make it retro. It just makes it um, from scratch, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not that I mind when people think of it as retro. It's just that I don't think of it that way. You're free to think of it however you like. Um, but it's just it's just a different thing to me because I enjoy retro computing, retro stuff. But I enjoy engaging with retro things as a user. I enjoy playing old games, um, but I, I don't really feel like developing in a retro environment. It's really, really fun to watch uh, people using old Visual Studio, again, like Roger Clark, because then he, he like absorbs the, <laughs> the pain and inconvenience of it, and I can just sit there and look at the beautiful um, Visual Studio interface and uh, you know, look at the little fonts and the little icons and everything and just be like, ooh, ah. <laughs> and I don't have to deal with the uh, C++ compiler being old. And um, it's, uh, it's an excellent thing to watch someone else doing. Um, because for my development, I prefer to use uh, modern language and modern, um, modern compiler. Uh, wow. So I guess this was something that was on my mind just because more and more people uh, keep talking about Serenity and, and they, they often talk about it like a retro system. Um, and in my mind, Serenity is just an, an operating system like, like any other, but it's extremely inspired to the point of stealing ideas. Uh, from other systems that are not contemporary systems. 
I might be splitting hairs here. Maybe I'm splitting hairs. Maybe I'm, maybe I should just accept that this is also a retro system. I don't know. Um, you know how sometimes when you're really, really into something uh, niche, then you see uh, like um, niches within that niche, and then the people on the outside, they're just like, dude, what? They're both operating systems. Like, there, it's it's all. It's all software. What the hell's the difference? Uh, <laughs> it's funny that you know how the more the more into something you are, the more um, differences you can see in it. It's the same with music. Like some people like electronic music, and then other people like um, like extremely specific subgenres of subgenres of electronic music. And uh, I think maybe I'm doing that here. Anyways. <laughs> Um, it's, it is interesting to think about what it is that I'm trying for with Serenity because uh, there have been like a lot of new subscribers and stuff and I haven't talked about this for a while so um, what I am doing with Serenity is I'm trying to build a desktop operating system the way that I want it to be because I'm building something here that's for me to use. It's not for uh, trying to get other people to use. It's not for trying to sell or trying to compete with anything. It's just really just I'm making something for me to use. Um, I think of it as very similar to like someone building his own house. Um, like if, if you are, if you work as a carpenter for many years, then I'd imagine that you would feel like if you wanted to, you could build your own house. And I sort of feel like that. Like I'm, I've been a programmer for many years, and I realized at some point that, you know, what if I just build my own operating system? Because um, then maybe the desktop could be nice to use again. Uh, it was. Uh, one, one thing that kept happening when I was working at Apple was I was always trying to um, nudge myself towards working on desktop related things at Apple. Like I wanted to work on the desktop browser, desktop web stuff, um, just anything for desktop. Desktop performance, desktop um, responsiveness, whatever. Like I, I wanted to work on the desktop because that's what I cared about. I didn't care so much about the smartphones. but and, and uh, at first, like in, in 2011, 2012, when I was very new at Apple, then they were fine with me caring about the desktop, more or less. But then over time, it was just more and more like, well, you know, you got to go on and do this on iOS. You got to help out on iOS. That's where we make the money, iOS, iOS, iOS. And I understand that. But that's, I guess that's where I started being pulled away from what I care about at Apple and started working on things that I care less about. Now, I still use iOS and I have respect for it. I think it's a, it's in large parts, it's a beautiful piece of engineering and you know, it has warts and, and stuff, but I, I'm, I'm so familiar with it and the internals of it that I just can't help but feel some love for it. Um, although I, I have to admit that I do feel sad whenever I have to update it because I know how it's going to be and feel the same way about my desktop Mac and now it want me, wants me to check out Catalina and um, my Ubuntu machine wants me to check out Ubuntu 19.10 um, and uh, my Windows machine at work, it's always, it's always updating, even after I tell it not to, it just keeps updating, and I just have no control over that thing. And, but, but that one, at least, at least with the Windows machine at work, I have the comfort of never having thought that it was even remotely pleasant to use. So <laughs> whenever he updates, it's just a, I don't know, it doesn't seem very different to me. But... Um, what I'm trying to do is, is build a system that just runs away from all of this crap 
and this whole feeling of like it's not fun to use the computer anymore. It's a it's a drag. It's um, it feels like a nuisance. Like I don't I don't feel like happy when I sit down at my desktop computer anymore. And I I know from the past I know that it's possible to feel happy when your computer is very simple and it doesn't get in your way and. I have built Serenity far enough already that I can tell that this feeling is in there, and the spirit is in there, and now it's just a matter of uh, iterating on it and um, bringing out that spirit more and more. And I really think that I really think that there's something magical here. That that it's it's almost like I'm not building it. It's like I'm just a uh, like um, bringing it back from the attic or from the basement and putting it on the table and dusting it off. I really sound like I'm doing retro computing. <laughs> Damn it. Well, whatever. Um, um, retro computing, huh? So. Whatever. <laughs> I, maybe I have something to come to terms with here. Anyways, uh, I'm trying to build a system that I want to use because I don't want to use my desktop, my Mac desktop, my Linux desktop, my Windows desktop. They're not fun to use. They feel like a chore. And it doesn't have to be this way. And yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. So, wow, this is just uh, completely structure free. <laughs> but thank you for listening to this babble uh, today. I guess I had uh, some things on my mind I needed to process, so I did that by talking. Thank you for listening to that. And um, I hope you're having a great Monday, wherever you are. Or if it's just starting out, then I hope it's going to be good for you. And as always, thank you for hanging out with me on the commute. Send in any questions or topics or whatever you would like me to talk about here on Commute, Commute Talk. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.